in here. All right, let me introduce the video first before you even get to talking. First of all, welcome back to the channel. It's me and the kids. We're about to go do something fun, and I don't think they have a clue what we're about to do. I know. What are we finna do? We're going to the library. No, I think I know what we're gonna do. What are we finna do? Because I know what the song's doing. So what are we finna do? Like I said, they have no idea what we finna do. They just know we got trampoline socks. And we've been driving past the same area at the outlets, I don't know how many times since last week. And every time we driving by, they always got, they, uh, they always got their tablets in their hands. So they don't get to see, they don't normally see what we have going on, so. We finna do something fun for spring break since spring break is almost over. Kyle, you still think we're going to the library? I don't know how because he's going to the library. <laughs> Close to the outlet. Y'all finna see what we finna get into. Yeah. Yes. Um, one time Kyle asked Nana when we was with Nana. Girl, can't nobody hear you? Last time when we came here to get some stuff for the baby as our present, we Carla asked if we could go here. Nana, it wasn't open. It wasn't open. So we at this thing. We are at this thing called the Fun Box. I ain't never seen this a day in my life. But it's like, hold on, let me get, I gotta get the car in the parking spot. But it's like a like a really big bounce house like theme park type situation it's cool though i think it's gonna be fun it's the world's biggest bounce park I it's called it. I it. it's called the fun box hold on let me show y'all let me show y'all what it look like you better be it's like really big they cut off like some of the parking lot for it now we're gonna go I'm gonna go stand in line. I bought tickets online and it's already sold out for the 515, so it's gonna be a lot of people here. You can tell who happy. I said, You can tell who happy. Kyla won't stop dancing. Madison over here acting nervous. Why are you acting so nervous? I'm not. Uh oh, you alright?
so it's been some time, but we're back home. We've eaten dinner. The kids are taking a shower. Now they on their tablets. Um, me and Kaylee really just been in here watching these people get their house renovated. It's probably going to end today's portion of the vlog. She said we got some stuff going on this weekend, so. What? That's a whole video in itself. But I'm saying, though, no, but you said we was doing dinner with other people and the kids getting their hair done this weekend. So, yeah. So. Yeah. We got a dinner tomorrow with some of our fellow marriage club members. Uh, one of our one of the, one couple is actually coming in from Nashville. So we try to link up with them every time they come into town. The kids supposed to be getting their hair retwisted. Well, the kids are getting locks. They're getting starter locks this weekend. Yeah. And then we got to go through all this baby stuff over here. Like she said, that's a video in itself. So, yep. <laughs> what you laughing at? You. You got us here on Instagram. Listen, if you're late, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. But hey, y'all. You got us <clears throat> super duper on time. Then. We're sitting here waiting for our dinner reservation. We're meeting up with some of our married friends to celebrate my um, one of our in a, not our anniversary, but in our <laughs> group of married friends, our marriage club. There's an anniversary, and it happens to be my sister and her say, husband. I had to explain that we have a group where we get together with other married couples. And we just celebrate black love. That's how you find out you got a good boy. That shit was hot. That shit was spicy. That shit Anywho, was spicy. Where we just celebrate each other, marriage, black love, all that good jazz. So, um, so yeah. So this is kind of like an anniversary dinner for my sister and her husband, who are in the marriage group as well. So their anniversary is tomorrow. I thought the reservation was at 6, but apparently it's at 6.30, y'all, so. Yeah, come out there disturbing my little workout I had going on. You gonna be ready by 5.30? Cause I thought the reservation was at 6. In my mind, I wrote 6 on the calendar and everything. You did. That's why I said, I don't remember <laughs> if it was 6 or 6.30. I just know it was 6 something, but I was still gonna be done and ready to go. Anyways, I didn't bring me a snack or nothing to eat because in my mind, I was going to come to dinner at 6. But now I got to sit here. <laughs> Coronavirus! <laughs> Excuse me. Cut that. <laughs> I asked you, did you want a snack too? You did ask me if I wanted a snack, but I didn't. Because in my mind, I literally just found out that it was 6.30. Even even when it was the six halfway on the highway, you was like, I should have got a snack. Well. Fix my posture. We're here now, so. I'll be okay. <laughs> Somebody over here tripping. I ain't tripping. I'm straight. I'm ready to eat, though. One of the other couples thought it was six, too. So, they, I guess I'm assuming they're sitting in the parking lot, too. We at, like, this like our second favorite restaurant. What's the first? Copeland's. Well, we can't even count Copeland's no more. Cause I they know. Gonna I was just going to say that. We can't count Copeland's no more because they <laughs> ran off on this when COVID hit. But Cypress Social is the next best thing to Copeland's. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Look at the corner, silly. They hide it. And, 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 and
It done tricked us. Yeah. We've been, been, we been hoodwinked and bamboozled. We got to work on this, man. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I put my little water up. I saw that guy. A little water, a little water. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. But you know, Thomas had a great idea. Y'all got to see y'all game.